2024 Iowa legislative session is now over. Iowa Capitol reporter Connor Hendricks has a roundup of some of the last minute bills that made it through. The House will be in order. Lawmakers worked into the overnight hours two days in a row to get the session wrapped up. The graveyard shift at the end of the General Assembly saw various bills, tax proposals and budgets introduced in a rush to get to the finish line. One thing of note, a new casino could soon be coming to Cedar Rapids. State Rep Bobby Kaufman proposed expanding the moratorium on new casino licenses until 2029. One reason Kaufman gave was that the state is currently undergoing a study on the impact of gambling in the state. State Rep Sammy Sheets says denying Cedar Rapids a casino was unfair. Cedar Rapids has a right, as I said, to go through the process just like 19 other casinos in this state have for the past two decades. While that amendment passed the House, the Senate decided not to take it up. Sheet says the city will now present its case to the Iowa Racing and Gaming Commission on why it should get a casino. The last thing lawmakers did before heading home was pass the standings budget, which is a catch-all budget that ties up any loose ends. Democrats voted against it, but State Rep Sean Begneski says there's a few things in it they liked. Happy to see the paraprofessional pay is in here. Disappointed to see the cut of $32.5 million to the AEAs. Uh, I don't know if we had mistakes this session or what we had, but this was a good way for us to correct those in a bipartisan fashion. I'm sorry that we missed that opportunity. Happy to see the teacher pay increases that we all supported together. State Rep Taylor Collins says the most important thing in the standings bill was including $14 million to pass a pay increase for educational support staff by means of a $15 per hour minimum wage. These additional dollars to support and retain our paraprofessionals is something House Republicans fought hard for, and it's great to see it come to fruition here tonight, I should say this morning. In addition, these extra resources devoted to combating illegal immigration, stopping, in, stopping the pouring in of drugs, human trafficking, and I think it's important our state continues to lead on this issue as we feel the effects of an open border. On the 104th day of session, it's now over. The House adjourned, signing die. Roughly 150 bills this session made it to Governor Kim Reynolds' desk. Friday, she signed 41 of them into law. She now has 30 days to decide whether or not to put her signature on the rest. Outside the Iowa State Capitol, I'm Connor Hendricks reporting. And lawmakers also passed an income tax, bringing the tax rate down to 3.8% starting in January. Republicans say it will save taxpayers an extra $1 billion per year. Uh, Democrats say it won't help 500,000 Iowans who don't make enough, though, to pay income tax.